my fellow queens, kings, and creative beings. I am back with a brand new video after about a year long hiatus, which we'll get into a little bit later. But really quick, I just wanted to say if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support here on YouTube, Instagram, if you've purchased something from me, if you visited me in a show, I just thank you so much for your support in any way, shape, or form you've given it. If you're new here, my name is Shade, a traveling artist based in California and Minnesota. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like button so I know that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to get the bell so you know whenever I post something new and stay tuned for all of the beauty to come in 2020. So as you've probably guessed, this video is me setting up my bullet journal and it's going to be the second half of December. I will make a second video with my January plan with me so make sure to stay tuned for that. This is going to be a pretty raw video just because I'm not really one for scripts or anything, so bear with me. Um, yeah, let's get right into the video. I actually started a bullet journal in the past but didn't keep up with it because I got a bit overwhelmed with all the different pages and trackers and whatnot. And my solution to that is keeping it pretty simple but also I'm still able to be creative but I just am not going to include anything that I don't actually need. <laughs> so that would be my advice to you if you've had similar issues in the past. Only put in your bullet journal what you feel would really actually be beneficial for you and that you're actually going to use. So I heard about this bullet journal and saw a few reviews on it and decided to pick it up for myself and I'm very glad that I did. It is the Exceed brand bullet journal. It is excellent quality paper. The paper quality is 100 GSM and you get 240 pages. These pages are also numbered and there's an included index which is really nice so you don't have to spend the time to number pages or make a separate index. Getting into it, as you saw, I put a simple key on the inside cover of my bullet journal and I didn't put my name on the other side just because I want it to be a pretty cute page and I'm not sure how I want to do that yet so I just left it blank for now. Now I'm using these awesome calendar stickers that I picked up from Michaels and it's just a roll of these calendar stickers so I'm just using them for my future log slash year at a glance pages. So for the setup of this journal, I decided to keep it fairly simple. I do go in a bit later and add a little bit more color, but for the main part, I'm keeping it fairly simple. As I mentioned, I just didn't want to get carried away with the glitz and glam. I have here a year at a glance slash future log page and in between is this Dutch door and I really love this Dutch door aspect uh, in these bullet journals. I honestly don't know where I originally saw it because I've seen so many different bullet journal videos but I do part of the future log on one side and a quote on the other side. The quote is you made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to set. And that's from the Bible, Psalms 104, verse 19. So I literally paused the video so that I can grab the materials I used, just so I can let you guys know. Um, I know you guys like the deets, and I also like hearing the details in other people's videos if I'm looking at something specific. So I'm using the Tombow Dual Brush Pen Grayscale Palette Set. Specifically, I'm using the colors N65, N45, and N60. But I believe the majority of the video, I'm using the N60 color, that really light gray color. For pen work, I will be using my Sakura Micro Perm Pen and .1. I also kind of switch between my Pigma Micron in 0.3. I also later on will use my pearlescent colors and the Fine Tech palette as well as my Sakura Koi watercolor set. As I already mentioned, I am very pleased with this journal. I love it and I highly recommend it for anybody who is starting off or if you're a seasoned pro and just want a more sustainable solution. The one that I picked up came with dotted pages, but there is another option for lined pages and possibly gridded, but definitely lined. I also really like it because it has a nice big pocket 
folder in the back of the journal as well as two bookmarks rather than just one to mark your place. And again, the paper quality is really good because I'm able to use different pens as well as watercolor and these pearlescent paints that I use a bit later and nothing seeps through. It doesn't do any ghosting on its own. I did end up like pressing in one of my pens a little bit too hard on one page but other than that there's like no ghosting so I don't think you'll have any problems there. So here I'm just setting up and finishing my Polaroid memories page and what I'm actually going to use it for is to do a little doodle sketch every month of just something that reminds me of the month. After this page I will be doing my 12 books in 12 months and I don't actually list which books I'm going to be reading in this video but I'll let you guys know in later videos because I do plan to do book reviews on each book so stay tuned for that. After the book page I go on to complete my habit tracker key and that is pretty simple as well. I think that habit trackers are one of the things that can get people a little bit overwhelmed or distracted in their bullet journal. So again, I wanted to keep it fairly simple. I only have about seven things that I'm going to be tracking and there are things that I already do, but just want to do a better job of being consistent in. So yeah. So the big question, why did I stop making YouTube videos? And honestly, <laughs> I broke my computer. So I broke my computer one night editing. I had my headphones in and I just was tired, I guess. I wasn't paying enough attention. My headphones were on my keyboard. I went to close my laptop screen and heard a beautiful little cracking sound. <laughs> Lo and behold, my uh, screen was cracked. <laughs> So it didn't crack on the outside, it was the interior screen, I think the LCD screen maybe, that cracked and that made things a bit more complicated. I also have an older model of a MacBook so they don't even really have the parts readily available um, and it was pretty expensive and Ultimately, I just felt like it would just make more sense to get a new computer rather than fixing this one. And yeah, I have an alternative solution right now, thank God. And I, yeah, I'm back making videos now, but kind of getting back in the groove of things and just taking my time with it. Um, I was so, so heated when my laptop screen broke. Um, Ugh, I was so annoyed just thinking about it <laughs> makes me annoyed sometimes but it's in the past say la vie um, yeah and now I'm making videos again <laughs> I have to admit that this little hiatus was pretty beneficial for me spiritually mentally and physically I really just took the time to travel took time off of social media even months of the time in some cases and really spent time with the Most High God inquiring about my future and his plans for me. I am of the personal belief that there is a God and he is the Most High and that he ultimately has the best destination for us. And so long as we are following his will, following his ways, I believe, of course, we have free will. He's not a dictator or a tyrant. So we do have input and choice. But I think it's very important to always make sure that you are in alignment with him in every season of your life. My ultimate desire has always been to utilize my gifts and talents to serve God's kingdom and serve it well, mainly because I am indebted to my creator and I love my creator. Therefore, I want to use everything that he gave me for his benefit. When you love somebody, it's less of a sacrifice and more so willingness to do something, willingness to follow. When you love someone and appreciate them, when you look up to them, when you revere them in every regard, spirit, soul, and body, the way that you perceive things is different. And you cannot give that type of reverence and love um, to a human because they will always let you down. Humans will always let you down. No human being is perfect 
And so it would be insane to give your total and utmost allegiance to other human beings who are just as flawed as you and I. But giving that love, dedication, that worship, that praise that is so deserved to the one who actually created you and brought you into existence to be able to experience this thing called life. As bitter or sweet as it may be, it's a gift nonetheless. And I want to spend my life serving the one who created me and gave me this amazing gift. To really know what it means to have a relationship with the Most High through Jesus Christ, I feel like that's an ever-growing relationship, um, something that you're going to consistently be developing throughout your life. But people have forgotten what that really means. and. They tend to worship creations rather than the creator. And I think in this modern day, a lot of people have lost sight of that, of what they were created to do. They've lost sight of true faith and true hope in something that's bigger than themselves. Um, I feel like a lot of people are very self-serving and as a whole, society has begun to turn to a self-serving attitude. And while on the surface, it kind of seems like, oh, everybody's for everybody. When you really dig down deep, <laughs> people do things more often than not to serve themselves and no one else. So I spent a lot of time this past year figuring out and developing what my everyday life would look like worshiping and serving the Most High God. And surprisingly enough, I've been able to develop goals and programs and plans, different services and products that are beneficial to me and people in my life. And I just honestly can't wait to extend that to the rest of humanity, whomever needs it. And yeah, I'm just super excited for 2020 and to bring these things to you guys. One of my goals moving into 2020, which involves all of you watching, is to create a sustainable networking society of creative believers because honestly, we need more of that. We need more of God's creative souls coming together, networking, talking about his plans, and also a place to do it. And so whether you are a cook, if you dance, if you choreograph, write screenplays, if you build houses, if you're a painter, a singer, whatever your creative outlet is, just know that those things are gifts from the Most High God and no other source. I know that every which way you turn today, the world is a mess. And to my fellow believers, it's not uncommon to want to give up. It's not uncommon to feel like you want to throw the towel in. I fully understand how that feels. However, we are a set apart people and we cannot give up. I want to encourage you today to remember that God's grace is sufficient enough for you and for me. It is sufficient enough to get us through everything that's happening and if you're not a believer i want to encourage you today to pick up a bible to read the bible if you have reserves about the bible and still want to understand who god is who jesus is then sit somewhere quiet in your room in your car in the bathroom wherever you can be alone and in your heart of hearts call out 
to the God of the universe. Ask him to intercede in your life. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Ask him to manifest in your life and for him to change your way of thinking, to open your eyes so that you can see truth, so that you can see from a divine perspective rather than seeing from a mundane point of view. You could go to all of the diviners, soothsayers, tarot card weeders, and psychics in the world, and you will still fall short because not none one of them can tell you what your divine purpose is because they're not God. Only God can tell you what he created you for. And if you're watching this, whether you're a believer or not, but if you're somebody who desires to know truth, to understand what is real in this world and what is a farce, I would highly, highly encourage you to sit on your own, somewhere quiet, and inquire with the Most High God. Commune with Him. Pray to Him. And really that just means to talk to Him. And then let Him talk back to you. Really quick, I just wanted to go over the last few pages that I created as well as a few others that won't be actually in this video because my camera kept stopping in the middle of me filming so I don't have footage of that but I do show you the final flip through at the end. I did an adventure doodles page that I'm pretty excited for. It's for me to do little doodles and sketches to remind me of my adventures throughout 2020. After that, I do a two-page spread brainstorming page. I do a one-page spread as well, but I'll be continuing with the two-page spread just because I definitely need the room. I also like to have different categories of brainstorming, so the two pages really help with that. Right here, I am finishing up my monthly goals page as well as my little Dutch door and list calendar. The list calendar I really like as a monthly calendar layout and I did a business and personal side. I actually end up nixing the budget tracker on the other side of the Dutch door just because I accidentally made it for the year when I meant to make a monthly one. So I'll be experimenting with different ideas for a monthly budget tracker and you'll see that in my January plan with me video so stay tuned for that. The quote that you see on the other side of the Dutch door is from 2 Corinthians 9, 8. It says, God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all that you need, you shall abound in every good work. Adjacent to that, you see me filling up my monthly goals page. I just have different boxes for different categories. And on the bottom, I have a task list that's going to be split between business and personal tasks so the pages you don't see me create but will be in the final flip through are the daily review the second monthly brainstorm page that I spoke about and my weekly spread I love how my weekly spread turned out and in my next plan with me video for January I will be doing a flip through for December so you can kind of see how I used that uh, weekly spread and another page that is pretty cool it's not in this video at all so make sure you stay tuned for my next plan with me video because I'm going to include that page and how I used it I also really liked the daily review page I only dedicated one page to it and I didn't fill the entire page out as of making this video but I do plan to continue implementing it into the later months of my bullet journal because I really like the idea and concept of that page. So that's all for today folks. If you liked being here today make sure to meet me in the comment section below and give me a like to let me know that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell so that you know whenever I post something new. And go ahead and meet me over on Instagram as well if you wanted to continue our chat. Enjoy the rest of the video and the final flip through and whatever time zone you're watching this in. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you later. God bless. Bye.